Okay, in the final lecture for the morning, it is an immense honor to introduce a speaker for lecture four, Dr. Kalpna Set. Dr. Kalpna Set is a distinguished scholar with over 25 years' experience in manuscriptology. She is an expert in descriptive cat cataloging of manuscripts at both national and international levels. A PhD scholar with extensive experience in medieval Indian language like Pakit, Sanskrit, and Pali. Currently, Dr. Set is working with Professor Peter Fugal on literacy heritage of an iconic Jain traditions. In today's lecture, titled Hidden Treasures of the Jaina Libraries in India, Dr. Set will share photographs and video footage that reveal the rich diversity of Jain objects housed in Jain libraries across India. She will provide us with a fascinating insight into the production process of these treasures from centuries ago, including highlights such as palm leaf and paper manuscripts. Ladies and gentlemen, please, without further ado, join me in extending a warm welcome to Dr. Kalpna Set as she unveils the hidden treasures of the Jaina libraries in India. Thank you. Hello, Chaijin. Hello, Chaijin and uh, thank you very much for my introduction. I am my heartfelt thanks to Mr. Bhavesa and Dr. and the Professor Peter Fugel to give me a chance to to be among with you all. I am highly obliged to the Pure Soul team to give me a chance for my presentation. My subject is Hidden Treasure of India. I will hear this, uh, this display about the manuscript, what the manuscript is called. Palm leaf manuscript, wooden arts, cloth manuscript, and paper manuscripts. And this is a a manuscript folio from a paper manuscript of 11th century. A manuscript refers to a written documents produced by hand. In the time before the invention of the printing press, people commonly wrote by hand, and these handwritten documents were known as manuscript. This is a illustrative folio of the paper manuscript of Kalpa Sutra, a highly revered Jain canonical text. Now I'm going to see process of making palm leaf, writing of, of palm leaf using stylus and illustration. Here we, here we see the process of making of palm leaf. There are eight steps to make the palm leaf to write the text. It takes eight different steps. First, the first one is the palm leaf tree. The second one is the tree, leaf cut from the trees. The third one is to make the rolls from the palm leaves. And the fourth one is the boiling process to make it to write for the palm leaf. The, the fifth is, there are four steps, fifth, six, seventh, and eight. The fifth is to cut the leaves, uh, which are extra part of the leaves. The sixth is, to make it smooth. The seventh is to make it whole. It generally, palm leaf has hole in the middle to tie up them. And eight is a ready palm leaf to write on. Now, these are the method how 
the tax or relief tax can be returned on the palm leaf. At the right side, there are different stylus to write. The stylus are of different size and different material. I will not go more details with this. And at the right, and at the left side, the process of writing on the palm leaf is shown. There are uh, written text is shown. This is this is the palm leaf illustration. This is a folios from the illustrative manuscript of the palm leaf. A palm leaf manuscript folio from 11th century that the, the 24th Gina Lord Mahavira. Here there is a golden engraving of Lord Parsa's birth and iconography. Mother Va Vama Devi with the child Parswa. Compared to Mavi, the appearance of Lord Parswa seems similar, but it can be identified with the symbol or the text written with it. Additionally, there is a maid servant standing there to take care of the both mother and the child. The whole picture is, uh, uh, is uh, painted with a golden ink. The mother and the child are added on with the golden and diamond ornaments. This is the most familiar, well-known event of Lord pa Parsonath. That is also engraved with a golden ink. This is a episode or event of a Diksak Kalyanak of palm leaf manuscript. Now, pulling Lord Parsonath pulling out hair in the five handfuls and the Indra who sit beside collecting, collecting the hair. This is one of the most auspicious uh, event that after Indra himself comes to collect the hair of the Lord. Here, the trees which are sown, which are sown in this plate, is quite different to other manuscripts. All, all this is uh, drawn with the golden ink. This description differs from the initiation event of the Mamavi in terms of okay, sorry. Okay. in terms of Lakshan symbol or or the description or even the context of the story narrated. Apparently, if we see, so we can't see the difference between Lord Ma any of the Lord is, but but from the uh, from the Lakshan uh, after text of the manuscript, we can identify those. This is very well known episode of the Lord Parsonath life. Here at the right side at upper level Parsonath is in Kayasa Mudra. This is a manuscript from the collection of the Eder collection. The Meghmali Dev, 
who was who was of a comet in his in his previous birth uh, portrayed the lord with the rain water the lord is in kavyasak budra but his disciple the god than sesame god dhanendra shows this and he 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 immediately rose there and became the seat of lord and afterwards the rain water continuously sabars so apne he take the form of a seven headed snake in the third version the the lord uh, so it's semi god dhanendra with his with his crown queen in a folded hand to pray the god this is the illustration of goddess ambai this folio is taken from the bharteswar bahubal vrutti of muni salibhadra of vikram savan 1214 the term generally we call devi ambika or amba but this term ambai has been employed by the by the muni salibhadra in in the book he has written bharteswar babau balrute the word amba translates amba is translated to mother and in this artwork the goddess is portrayed holding her baby son tenderly in her right hand and while grasping a branch of mango tree in her left hand as as the mango tree is considered a auspicious fruit the prakrut language contains a notable text called ambika devi kalp and numerous illustration of goddess such as amba and saraswati are accessible in this book if if anybody would like to see the various forms or pictures of amba and sasarapati they they can uh, use this ambika devi kalp this is this has two plates two compartments the upper compartment uh, is uh, yeah this is from siddha hem vyakran a grammar book written by kalikal sarvagya hemchandracharya suri this manuscript is from patan the upper in the upper side monk upper side king upper side king sindaraj request monk hemachandra sev ji sorry and request him to write request him to write a grammar book then the monk kalikal kalikala chacharya hemachandra acharya suri wrote a book named siddha hem vyakra this is the first book it is called that this is the one of the best book of vyakran in prakrut language in the lower compartment a teacher a guru which vitha sapna acharya disciples has folios in their hands we can see the three individuals here named shrishti vikrama karmana and a 
and a lay woman named Hirde. Now, now I'm going to say about uh, Buddha art. Buddha, yeah, this is a wooden box. Manuscript stood kept at a dry place to to prevent from air and insects. An airtight wooden box was used to stir them well. The box not only helps to prevent the damage, but can also be aesthetically pleasing with decorative carving. Still, we can see this type of box in old manuscript library. And these boxes are filled with uh, illustrated manuscript mostly, because illustrated manuscripts are considered very auspicious and pious. Now, there are the wooden folios, means wooden plates. Uh, to As I told before, that palm leaf manuscripts has a hole in the middle to and to tie with the strings. So, so for them, wooden, uh, after tying the folios, wooden, okay, okay, sorry, okay, sorry. Um, um, yeah, wooden plates are required. Once, so there are two versions of folio, black and white and colorful. One such folio, Updesh Mala Puspa Vritti by Maladhar Hemchandra Suri, on a wooden plate written in 1425 Vikram Samvat. This folio includes the illustration of 10 previous births of Lord Parsonat as well as the five auspicious events. This is an awe-inspiring carving of the Sesti Vimasahi temple. This describes the ceiling carving of Sesti Vimasahi temple in Del Delwada, Rajasthan, India. This carving depicts the 16 Vidya Devis. Because of time, I don't go with the details. This is also the black and white carving Buddha not carving the story of of Amal Ki Krida of of twenty fourth Lord Mavi. This is illustration illustration from the fifteenth century. In the story, a young a young Vardhaman is playing with his friend when a semi god appears to test him. To frighten the Vardhman, the semi-god transferred himself into, into the towering de de demon. However, Vardhman fearlessly punches the demon, causing him to shrink, shrink back to his true form. In the end, Vardhman emerges victorious over the semi-god. This is a very good inscription of the wooden art. This is the artistic representation of the, of the Lord Ganesh in Gujarat. Ganesh, yeah, this is called Ganesh Stapna. This is a very popular theme in the art of the Gujarat. Every religious ceremony begins with the appropriation of Lord Ganesha, who is the god of auspicious. The panel of this type place at the entrance of the shrine. Now, introduction to art cloth manuscript, Lord Deputy Radiantra, an illustration of cloth manuscript. The large format painting consists of various types of artwork, such as square cloth yantra, that are usually carried by monks. 
depictions of scenes from the lives of the Jina and the Vigyapti Patra, which are long scrolls that invite monks to visit our city during the rainy season. This pacing also includes diagram of the cosmos and its various parts, as well as the images of pil pil pilgrimage sites that are commonly found in houses and local temples. This is a cloth, Vastrapatra. There are, there are two artists, uh, illustrations. From the left side, a non-tantric potter, Tirtha potter, pilgrimage banner. Generally, Tirtha banner is displayed on that Tish festival day. One who can't visit the Tish can have pilgrimage pilgrimage with this part, the pilgrimage banner. Right side, a cosmological banner, where a dry drip, jambu drip, cosmic man, like places are drawn. This is a vatrapat, a cloth roll, from the Jain Viswaparthi Ladunu, Rajasthan. This class is a role of Satrun Jaitir. My friend, my friend Professor Nalini Balbir and I have edited it and it was published by the Jain Viswabharti Ladnu in the year 2010. Yes. The right side is a picture of Meru Parvat and at the left side the text of Satrun Jaitir. It consists many stories about Satru Jaitirth. This is close Vatra Patra, depicting Vigyati Patra. Vigyati Patra, yeah, this Vigyati Patra is a part of art gallery of South Australia, South Australia's collection in adult diet. And, and it provides information about a European minister and commercial activities involving the European steamer. A Vigyapti Patra is essentially an invitation letter for a Jain monk to visit community place of worship during the four and a half months of rainy season known as Chaturmas. Here, two places are there. It typically includes Jina, detail about the town unique characteristics, description of the emperor and wealthy merchant, as well as information about community strength, history, geography, social norms, and political, often accompanied by photo. Yet, now I come to the paper manuscript. Now I know. Yeah, this is the Pamblif to paper manuscript. It describes the history of Pamblif to paper, paper manuscript. Paper first mentioned from 10th century to 12th century. It came in India through trade. Arab traders settled in Indian port in the 13th century. Initially, it used for the record religious scriptures particularly in Jain tradition. Jain king of Chalukya established library. Palm leaf was no longer used in Western India by the latter half of the 14th century. Now, this is a handmade paper making process. This process has five steps. Number one, separate useful fiber from the raw material. Number two, bearing down the fibers into pulp. Third, adjusting color, mechanical, chemical, and biological properties of the paper. Number four, screening the resulting solution. Number five, pressing and drying to get the actual paper. This is black and white 
paper manuscript. There is a picture of Goddess Saraswati, which can be found in Santinat Manuscript Library at, at Kambe. This illustration is from the Vikram Savan, 1184. In their image, the goddess is depicted holding a lotus flower in her upper hand, while her low, lower hand holds a rosary and a book. This illustration is considered to be the one of the oldest depictions of, of the goddess. This is the rare image of Hindu divine beings. Generally, the sketch of Kamdev, who is considered as a god of law, which is rare, which is very rare illustration. But but this illustration is from the personal collection of Sarabhai Nava. Okay. This, this comes from the Rati Rahasya. To date, I have not seen similar depictions of Kamdev anywhere. This is very well-known event of Jain uh, tradition. Lord, a procession of Tiktanka Naminat marriage. This is a paper manuscript originating from Ida in Gujarat. The manuscript contains of a marriage procession of the 22nd Tithankar of Jainism named Sri Naminat. This illustration shows Prince Nemi riding an elephant as a part of procession, while Princess Sajimati sits opposite him holding a mirror to, to catch a glimpse of her beloved. This is also a very well-known um, event that Bharat and Bahubali, both were brothers, and before the initiations of Bahubali, they both brothers had a combat. There are four plays the first place shows an eye fight and word fight. The second plate depicts fish fight and the punishment fight. The third plate shows a combination of discus and fish fights followed by a murti lodge, a gesture after the fight. In the fourth plate, the Bahubali, Mani, Bahubali Muni is depicted in the Kausag Mudra after initiation, while his sisters, Brahmi and Sundari, are shown wishing to him to abandon pride and, ab and adopt a more courteous demnora. These plates are also found in Delvara Mandir. This is the Sambhasran of 24th Lord Mavir. The gods construct the Sambhasana of 24 Tithankar, Lord Mavir, after attaining the Enlightenment. It can be constructed in two shapes, rectangular and circle. Here, the cir circular Sambhasana, the epictet year of Lord Mavir, delivers his teaching. This is Lord Mavir's sermon to Chandako Six Snake. Lord Bhavi delivered a sermon to a snake named Chandako Six. The, the Lord Bhavi reminded him previous birth and after sermon the Chandako Six Snake reminded his, uh, reminded his previous birth and he became disciple and attain the enlightenment, enlightenment. Many things to be with me and to listen to me. Thank you. Okay, we've got a few minutes for questions if anyone has anything they'd like to ask. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
uh, thank you very much for a wonderful uh, presentation. I wanted to find out uh, uh, how were the inks made in those days that were used? Oh, yeah, manuscript? this ink uh, based mo always in, in Jain tradition, ink is made with the herbal things. I have prepared a very good video of this, but uh, because of time, I cannot show you. But uh, blank, black, generally black ink is uh, made from uh, uh, from a, 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 what we call uh, from, from the ash of the castor oil lamp. When the lamp is burned, then the mass is collected on the lower level of the vessel, and then, then after collecting the uh, mass as it is, um, it is uh, rubbed with uh, oil and camphor, and so many herbs are used, and it takes. From the ash to make black ink, take me minimum 15 days. They have to churn and churn and churn so many times. And all these herbs are not put together. After one after one, all the oil, means some oil, some camphor, those which are the herb use is put one by one. And for the uh, for the red ink, hingalo is used, and for the golden and silver ink, the leaf of the gold and silver are churned for many days, and they are used. Any any other questions? Um, you mentioned that when invitation is sent out to the monks. Invit invitations are sent out to the monks yeah. for Chaturmas. Yeah. Photos are sent. Were they invented at that time? Pardon? Photographs. Yeah, photographs. Are sent with the invitations. Yeah. Was photography invented at that time? No, they draw. They oh, draw. drawings were there. Yeah, yeah they draw. Or and uh, it is a huge it's roll of 8 meter. 10 meters, 5, so many liters. It has a very long uh, cloth roll. Was there any other questions? Sure, let me give you the mic one second. If the, um, some of it's from like the 11th century or whatever, how did they get preserved? How did, like, is it because you put them in those wooden boxes or have you had to restore the work to see it? How is it that we can see it today? Yeah, yeah. before it was used in wooden box and now they are uh, wine with uh, acid-free clothes. Manuscript first bind with the, with the acid-free clothes and and now they are put in a wooden box. And now as science has more developed, the rooms are uh, air-free, and uh, so, so, so many steps are taken nowadays that a room is uh, dump-free uh, and air-free. So, okay, so now the preservation is made easy. And, and th there are many steps taken after to preserve the manuscript. In India, because of uh, humid temperature, every after Diwali means after rainy season, every manuscript, each page of uh, each manuscript is after uh, putting in in the uh, fumigation chamber to protect them for a long time. Fantastic, thank you very much, Doctor. Okay, thanks a lot.